Hey everybody, welcome to Monday on Grace with Paul Gray. A lot of times on Monday I do what I call a Monday musical message or musical musing or something like that. And I've talked about different people whom I've known in my life, musicians who've made a great impact on my life. I want to continue with that today. Now this is a musician who's had a great impact on my life, but I've never met him. I've watched him live different times, listen to his CDs all the time. And I'm talking about Bart Millard. Bart is the leader of the band Mercy Me. It's my favorite band. I know I'm a jazz musician, but <clears throat> this is still my favorite band. There's a new movie out that I saw this afternoon called I Can Only Imagine. One of my favorite actors is in it, Dennis Quaid. Cloris Leachman's in it. I highly recommend the movie I Can Only Imagine. It's, it's amazing. It's about grace. It's about forgiveness. It's about God working all things out for the good. And it's just wonderful. So there's my plug for that song. But I want to talk about a different song that Mercy Me does. This one's on their album, Welcome to the New. And I don't know this for sure because I've never talked to them. I haven't read this about them. But it certainly appears from the lyrics, especially in their album, Welcome to the New, that Bart Millard and the guys in their band really understand grace, Jesus' finished work at the cross, and acceptance of everybody. Listen to these words from their song, Wishful Thinking. Lord, is it possible to get this far and just now understand who you are? He'd been a Christian for a long time, had a Christian band for a long time. And he's saying, is it possible to get this far and just now understand who you are? And that's happened to a lot of us, hadn't it? He said, I'm feeling foolish, yet relieved as well. Because what I bought before, I just can't sell. Well, that's where I was. I wanted to please God and I loved God, but it was really hard for me to, to evangelize, to talk to people about an angry God who was always keeping a list and was ready to punish him forever. I, just, I really couldn't sell that. But now, he says, my eyes are wide open, and Jesus is the light of the world that brings light and illumination to everyone. He said, if this is wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> I don't want to believe that God is not good and angry. He says, could it be that on my worst day, God, how you love me still will not change? I mean, think about that. Could it be that on our worst day, how God loves us still will not change? He said, what if it's really not about what I do, but what you did? And we've come to learn that, haven't we? And then he says, this ain't wishful thinking. It's just how it is, seeing what is, 2 Corinthians 4.18. This ain't wishful thinking, it's just how it is. He said, well, I guess I'm better late than not at all. Or, God, did you plan it this way all along? Because without suffering, he says, grace is hard to see. And that's true. You know, when we're comfortable, when we're going along, when things are pretty well, we're Christians, we're involved in church and stuff like that, it's hard to believe that we need grace because we haven't suffered. There's nothing that we have needed grace for. We haven't doubted. We haven't questioned. We haven't gone through hard times. Without suffering, grace is hard to see. God doesn't bring suffering on us intentionally, but he knows what's going to happen, and certainly he works the things that happen in this life, and suffering is a big part of that, to help us see grace. So he says, so maybe I'm right where I'm supposed to be. And that's, of course, saying that God obviously is working all things out for the good to restore all of us as he has been his plan all along. He says, now I'm seeing you so differently. All I can say is finally, now my eyes are open wide. Lord, he says, if this is wrong, don't make me right. Don't make me right. Now I know that on my worst day, the way you love me, it ain't ever going to change. What if it's never really been about what I do, but what you did? This ain't wishful thinking. It's just how it is. This ain't wishful thinking. It's just how it is. That's a great song. So... There's my plug for Bart Miller. I'd love to meet him someday. I love the band and I love what God's doing through them. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.